Hi everyone, we're back for lesson 113. This is part of the review and necessarily short since we've said everything pretty much there is to say about this idea. But here we go again. I am one self. We are one self united with our creator. Creator and creation cannot be separated. We're not two things or an infinite number of things that all have to be joined back together. We cannot be separate any more than a smile, which is an expression of a face, can be separated from a face. No one ever sees the face on one side of the room and the smile on the other. The smile is what the face is doing, so to speak. Well, we are what happens when creation expresses. So there you go. Serenity and perfect peace are mine because I am this one self, completely whole, not split into a bunch of pieces, at one with all other creation and with God or the Creator. So we are forever infinite, eternal, clear, empty, the presence of joy. Nothing else is possible. Now you might say, well, how come I have no experience of that? That is because we currently live in a hallucinated state. Now, we've got to get that hallucinations don't change anything. If a person is hallucinating, as I have discussed before in some videos, then the hallucination that a person is having doesn't do a thing to whatever's going on in the room. It's going on in that person's mind, but it doesn't make the furniture go away. It doesn't cause any difference at all in what's there. So our hallucinations do not change the facts, the great big facts with a capital F, at all. And the whole purpose of this material is to move us out of our hallucinating state, to move us back into an awareness of what's really true, what we really are, and what's really going on. So the second idea we're asked to practice is salvation, or returning back to this awareness of the truth comes from my oneself. Of course, where else could it come from, except from the truth that's also in my mind? The text talks about being in our wrong mind or our right mind. So you might say the hallucination that we're experiencing jointly makes up my wrong mind, but there's more going on besides this hallucination. So it says, from my one self, from the truth of me, whose knowledge still remains within my mind, I see God's plan. I see love's perfect plan perfectly fulfilled. So my return home is self-evident to the truth in my mind. So this is about letting go of guilt, and I keep having opportunities to do that, and all of these beautiful attributes about myself, about yourself, are always there. You see, keep in mind, the whole purpose of this material is to help us see clearly our hallucinated state so that finally we can wake up. So there you go. We are one self, united with our Creator. Thank goodness the hallucination didn't have effect it scared us to death, but hasn't changed a thing. Have a great practice remembering you're at home, safe, and you can see, like Bill Fetford used to say, I know it's hopeless, just not serious. So we can look at things and say they surely look hopeless, but from the perspective of our right mind, we do not have to take it all so seriously. Have a wonderful practice. Bye.